I swear this is going to be one of those super creepy ass places. Hey, didn't they say though that box came from like one of these secret meetings, but he didn't get the key? I wonder if the key's in here. Oh. Well. Comstock fights the Serpent of Nations. Lovely. What are those heads supposed to be? Obscenely racist. Okay, well, I'll we'll just move along. <clears throat> so this game, as far as I can tell, it does... Comstock fights the Serpent of Nations. As far as I can tell, this does one of the very classic uh, kind of tropes where it makes it so that you hate the enemy not because of some really subtle or you know kind of relatable evil that someone they just make him so blatantly like evil in a very common way you know a way that most people unite against that you just automatically don't like him so in this case they just use racism They're like all right he's a racist old white dude who proclaims himself god so now religious people are going to hate him because he's uh basically perverse uh perversing a lot of christian uh religious icons and iconography or and in symbology and everything so they're gonna hate him because of that and then you know racism a lot of people hate racism you know most most people hate racism uh, or don't, can't tolerate it at the very least you know so in this case they just kinda make you hate Comstock by being like yeah he's getting racist and he hates your religions so there you go so now most people are just going to successfully not like him for that very reason. Which is kind of a bummer. I would much rather hate someone or dislike someone because either they're subtly evil in the sense that they do something that could be construed as good, but could also very easily be construed as bad. You know, shades of gray. In which case people try to tend, they tend more towards the black than the white. No, towards the dark than the light. Would you shut up, birds? I don't know. It's very difficult to pull off, but when you do, it's it's amazing. I wish I could give you an, an example off the top of my head, but unfortunately, I, I can't think of one right now. Uh, there, there was a movie. There was a... Oh my goodness. There was a movie uh, recently that had Gerard Butler and Jamie Foxx in it. Uh, it was, I mean, it's a pretty recent movie. It's, it's a couple years old. What was it? Law Abiding Citizen, where you kind of don't like Gerard Butler because he goes to such extreme lengths when he's punishing people that he feels deserve to be punished. So you, the rationale behind it is, you know, the people that he's punishing are people that wronged him in a very tangible, very serious way. But they got off because of how you know, messed up the legal system is. And this happens at the very beginning of the movie, so you know, no spoilers if you haven't seen it. So then he goes to get his revenge, and the way he does it is pretty excessive and extreme, but by the same token, you know, for the most part, you're kind of just sitting there thinking, like, I agree. But then he starts taking it too far to where he starts involving people that can't really that aren't really responsible and couldn't change the entire legal system by themselves but he still holds them responsible uh so like the da who made the deal that got one of the people off so, so that the, he had to punish that person himself um things like that and that movie was really good though i thought i liked it He lose very little health in comparison. Soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Oh, so what? They don't like Abraham Lincoln or something? So oh, that's not surprising. 
demonstrated to the solemn below the true mission our founders given. And when the man I don't care. What Shut up. Yep, throwing fireballs. Whoa, 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 what did I just- Oh my god. Holy shit, so apparently if I hold melee when they're kind of low on health, I do an execution move, which is just kind of a fun way to kill people, you know, if you want some extra gore and mess. <coughs> Trash. Who's yelling? That's kind of neato. Ow, 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 ow. Didn't tell me that earlier. But that's because I turned off the tutorials. You know, a lot of these games are pretty much the same, so I just, I like to turn off tutorials for this kind of stuff. Sometimes you miss simple stuff. Wow, these guys are just the KKK only in blue. Why, because the KKK could sue, I guess? Because technically, you know, as uh, racist, backwards, and retarded as they are, uh, they are a religious organization of some sort. Who's this guy? Very dour. For God and country. Well, there's a lovely lady back there, and there's a sword. Oh, I see. So the scroll represents wisdom. The sword is defense. The uh, key is for discovery, and the eye is for faith, which I haven't really seen the eye anywhere. What? What's this? Some sort of mystic magic bottle. Oh, key to the chest. Sweet. Pick up infusion. Oh, increase my max health. Shield capacity. Salt capacity. Hmm. Well, I think these two are the best, because health doesn't recover itself, and shields do, so the higher your shields are, the better, because that's your regenerating health. So, salts are really good, too. Mm. I'm going to max out one of these two first. I'll probably switch between these two. Nice. Yep. Let's go with shields first. Ooh! Exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the Negro from? From his daily bread, from the nobility of honest work, from wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave, from clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free, except the white man. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. As a white man, I disagree with that statement in its entirety. I uh, feel like I'm probably born as free as, you know, any other person or animal uh, on the face of the earth. You know, it's pretty, pretty equal, I'm going to say. Uh, and also, I do not bear the burden of anyone else's uh, freedom or choices. So, you know. As a person who is, uh, is, uh, you know, Caucasian. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, that goes without saying, really, doesn't it? Yeah, very few people are that, uh, fucking crazy. So, what was the point of this? Was I just going over here to get that key? Was there nothing else in here? Am I done? Have I explored this place? Is that it? So I could just roll up in here, murder everything, and then take a key? There's nothing else in here? This felt like the way that I had to go, but it turns out... I mean, kind of, kind of wasn't. Is this just like an optional, like a side quest almost? Because I don't, I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be going at this point. Like, where the fuck am I? John Wilkes Booth. Oh. 
Oh! Well, he's covered in shit. That's gross. And what's with all the rotten food and, and garbage around here? Like, it's their religious icon and everything, but what the, what the hell is going on here? This place is gross as shit. Aha! Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Eight, huh? Well, I know I killed at least one dude. I knocked his head off. Are they just blaming me for everyone's deaths? Like, just because if I hadn't been there, if I hadn't existed, uh, you know, they wouldn't have died. Wow, I can jump pretty far. I thought I was going to take damage from that. But no. Uh, I'm going to come back here in a little bit, but first and foremost, uh, let's pick up that salt. Uh, let's let's get out of Creepy McCreeperton and uh, head back to that lovely... Oh, oh my god. Hey there, buddy. The cops all respawn. Great. At least that fire guy didn't. Excuse me. Heading back here. Excuse me. Well, where was that place? Didn't I have to jump on a skyhook somewhere? Yeah, there it is. Skyhook. There we go. Lonsdale Residence. I go down the stairs. Was it here? I think it was in this room or like this room. Yeah, there it is. Sweet! An infusion! Lovely. Oh, that's it? Eh, that's good though. I mean, I figured there'd be money, but those infusion things are crazy. They seem like technology that shouldn't exist. You know? Which it probably is. No, I'm not gonna just sit here and loot every single corpse that I see because I don't care. Most of them have ammunition. I'm full on ammunition. Some of them have little bits of money. I don't need 80 bajillion dollars, alright? I'm good on the money front right now. They don't drop weapons and loot of that nature. They never do, so just chillax. At least not not unless it's a special like special enemy or special occasion. Hey y'all! All right, and uh, over here, and in through here, and hello. Er, let's see what we got going on down here. Press the button. Yeah, let's press the button. Episode.